All right, it is Tuesday, June twentieth, new week. Just posted up my uh, new video, most uh, my most recent one, just uh, before I went and got the mail today. And uh, yeah, we have quite a lot of stuff in here. I have two TTMs, a trade, a purchase, and a big one from a baseball hall of famer. We'll save that one for last, though. So, also got in my customs that I ordered up from China. Very happy to uh, get those in, and uh, I'll get those hopefully signed this weekend. Friday, going out to Frisco for a game, so fun stuff there. Anyways, let's get down to the good stuff here. Let us start with the trade that I have made. I think it actually was purchased. No, this is a trade. This is a trade from uh, on uh, sportscollectors.net. With uh, NYYJMM was the screen name there. It's a guy who's actually active in a lot of the Facebook groups that I run as well. But uh, yeah, he had a card I needed. I had a card he needed. I'm like, hey, what's up? Swap these. And so he agreed to that. And we have a new addition to the Topps Heritage Miners set with Austin Cox. Signed right down at the bottom there, as you can probably see. There we go. Zoom in on that, get a little light on there if we can. Yeah, so there you go. The set edition, I think I'm up to 109 now on the set. One more card, and I'll hit the 50% mark on the uh, Heritage Miner set for 2021. So, exciting times. Uh, let's go on here. We've got a purchase. This is what an eBay pickup, courtesy of uh, Steve Barty. That's the guy I bought it from. And I'm trying to remember which one this one is, and I don't remember off the top of my head, but uh, it's going to be another set need. So, good times there. There we go. Packaged up nicely. Got another envelope inside there. And we have, ah, yes, this is the uh, regular Heritage set of uh, Miles Michaelis, right there. So one for the regular set, one for the minor set, and good times were had by all. So, what do we have next here? Let's, uh, let's take a look. Like I said, we'll go through the TTMs next. Both of these are postmarked from Boston. This one is from RW. This is going to be a uh, hockey edition for the 88-89 uh, top set. Guy who's got a kid playing in the NHL now as well. This is going to be Randy Wood. Son Miles, of course, plays for the New Jersey Devils. And Randy signed everything I sent, including that 88-89 tops card. Signed in black, still shows up all right. It's been a decent spot at least, so good stuff there. Next up, as I said, also postmark from Boston. This is from DS. This will be another 88-89 uh, set need, I believe. Should be from David Shaw, sent via his place of employment. And indeed, he signed everything, including that 88-89 Tops card right there. So, there you go. Two more set hits right there. A purchase, a trade, two TTM, so four really total. And now, this padded envelope right here. This comes to his postmark from... Uh, doesn't really matter where it's postmarked from. I can tell you exactly who this is. This is one that I paid some pretty good money to be able to get. So, uh, like I said, it's a Baseball Hall of Famer. And uh, I mailed this out after I made some... Uh, had a busy week at work, got a lot of overtime because of the uh, NFL draft. And so, packaged up everything. They didn't put it back in my uh, little plastic case I said, but they did at least put it between some cardboard. So, hopefully it turned out all right there through that. Rubber bands around to keep it all together. Should be five cards here and a one, two, a three, four, and a five. He did indeed sign all five. They also are uh, have a sticker on the back with his uh, little authenticity hologram. Which I specifically requested, I said, hey, just put it anywhere you can that's, you know, kind of off to a side if you can or wherever, or just not really interfering with anything, and uh, well, they did reasonably well with that. So, yeah, this would be Mr. Nolan Ryan. Five cards I sent. It was a $75 each fee, but uh, you know what? It knocks out everything I needed on my sets that I'm doing. So, there's one on the 1990 Donruss Diamond Kings, the King of Kings, as the case may be. The uh, 1983 three is this? this is either 82 or 83 uh diamond king as well signed right there at the bottom the last of the tops all-time fan favorites cards this one can't tell if the pen bubbled a little bit on him or what it came out a little bit thinner but still looks pretty good there the 2013 uh, 72 mini right in there and the 1972 tops card as well so there you go, five Nolan Ryan set hits coming in via a uh, via his charity, his uh, his foundation sent there, and got him back after what? It's about maybe a six week turnaround or thereabouts. Not too uh, not too bad at all. There, I was expecting first week of July or thereabouts. So it came in about two weeks, uh, two weeks, two to three weeks ahead of what I was hoping. So there you go, 
Solid day at the mailbox. Super excited to get those Nolan Ryans and I'm finally done with him on all of my sets that I have. I've got those five and two others that I had knocked out in the past in person. So there you go. Thanks for tuning in. Hope we've got a, a big week ahead after this uh, pretty solid start. All right, it's Thursday the 22nd. Uh, nothing that came in on Wednesday at all after the uh, bonanza of a day on Tuesday. Today I got two TTMs though, so let's take a look at those. First one, this one's been out a while, about six months or so, and it was mailed to an address in Virginia. Comes back postmark from South Carolina though, and the initials on it are RL. If you remember back late in the year to who I was sending out then, and if you've been reading SCN at all, you'll know who this uh, is going to be. Let's go ahead and let you in on it now. It's a Hall of Famer rookie card, this time from the hockey world, and it is Mr. Rod Langway. Signed it, he did not put the Hall of Fame inscription with it, unfortunately, but I'll gladly take that. Paid five bucks, just a little bit of a bribe there. I've heard he can be a little bit tough on some uh, some rookie card requests or even like Hall of Fame edition requests. He's usually a free signer, but yeah, figured, figured I mean, five bucks for that. Not complaining at all. That is his Opeachy rookie card, by the way, from the uh, 1980-81 set. So, another Hall of Famer to add to the collection. Let's see what we've got here. This is going to be GD from North Texas. It's going to be a rare basketball one and one that has... No reason, uh, no rhyme or reason for why I sent it out. I just had some cards of him that I got in that uh, big find at the card show out in Allen. And I had a card of him with the Cavs as well. So I figured, you know what, let's go ahead and send it to him. And it should be Mr. Greg Drayling. Drayling? Oh, there we go. And he even wrote a short note back as well. So, wow. Let me, uh, I'll show you the cards here first. And I'll read off the letter here. But uh, Greg Drayling of the Cleveland Cavaliers, the Indianapolis, the Indiana Pacers, and the Dallas Mavericks. There's that Cavs card right there that I mentioned. I remember that I had that card, and then uh, yeah, I think it was uh, the other ones, these Pacers ones and the uh, Mavericks one that were all in the uh, stuff from the card show. Writes a short note back and says, Hey, Drew, I enjoyed your letter. I liked uh, playing that one year in Cleveland. A bunch of good guys. I still see Mark Price and Tyrone Hill from time to time. The fans were great. I wish they brought me back for another season. Be well. Signs at the bottom, and then puts on the back. He says, I like the Cavs card with me scoring on my old uh, Pacers teammate, Dale Davis. And yeah, you can see him right there. He's going up and putting one in over Davis down there in the corner, so cool stuff. I always like when players, you know, add in something, a little extra note like that, so it's always fun. So there you go, a uh, nice res response there from uh, Greg Drayling, and uh, yeah, Hall of Fame rookie card there with uh, Rod Langway. So nice way to spend my Thursday. Got Friday coming tomorrow. I'm going to be going out to a game in Frisco in the evening, so hopefully we'll have some TTMs to talk about. Uh, we'll have some play-by-play, -play, some in-person graphing, and uh, yeah, we'll roll on from there. It's Chandra Redmond to the plate here for Springfield. We're in the top of the eighth inning. Eight to five Rough Riders are score. Michael Brewer on the mound, first pitch. High fastball for a strike. 82 miles an hour. Eight to five is our score right now. As Brewer delivers, big cut and miss, and it's quickly 0-2. Here with two outs. 94 on that one, so maybe a slider there on the first one, rather. Change up of some sort. A quickly 0-2 here on Redmond. He is 1 for 3 so far here today. The wind and the delivery, strike 3, swinging. And that'll do it. 1-2-3, 8th inning. Still 8-5, to five. Frisco on top. All right, since that last of bat was only a strikeout, we'll give you a bonus here as we get Evan Carter to play to lead off the top of the ninth inning. Jack Ralston entering the game on the mound for Springfield. His first pitch hit high in the air towards center field. Under it and making the catch is Justin Turner for the first out. We'll go ahead and give you a second one here as well. So uh, there's at least a couple minutes of play-by-play -play here. Pre-game graphing went well. We'll tell you about that after this in a moment. And and we'll have a couple of TTMs for you as well as Luis Angel Acuna comes to the plate here for Frisco with one out, top of the ninth. Once again, 8-5 is our score. As operating from the full windup, Ralston delivers first pitch, 92 miles an hour for a ball. Acuna one for three so far here today. A 301 hitter on the season. Ralston kicks and fires. This is hit in the air as well towards center. And once again, Turner under it makes the catch. 
quickly two away, and I think three batters is uh, more than enough here. Anyways, like I said, we'll give you an update on the graphing post game and uh, let you know what we get afterward with the Rough Riders. As well as what we got earlier with the Cardinals and a couple TTMs once I get home. All right, it's Friday. You just got my little play by play bits there from the uh, Springfield at Frisco game. And so let's give you a recap of how the graphing went. We'll take a look at the TTMs I got as well. So let's go through these ones. Let me get into the box here. Almost there. Had to do a little bit of rearranging there earlier today because uh, JP Martinez got moved back up to AAA again. So I'm glad I got that one out of him at least in that time. And so here we go. Okay, got everything here. Let's see how many we got done total. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight cards. So my goal was thirty. I think I figured it was gonna be a little bit of a stretch, but if I had gotten thirty done, I would then be dead even between my number of in-person and TTM SIGs from the year. So I'm still going to be a little bit behind, and also these two TTMs are going to push that back ahead again anyways. So let's go ahead and take a look, though, and see what we got. So uh, Springfield. Yeah, they really don't have a whole lot of guys with cards, unfortunately. So uh, also part of my Sport Lots order did not get here in time. So that's why because of that, I only had one card of Nick Dunn, courtesy of Aaron, who had an extra one, said, here you go, take this one. So got one out of him at least, so yay for that. Um... He was, I believe, like the second one that we got inside there. The first one was uh, Justin Turner, and uh, he signed all three cards that I had. The Heritage one, I already had the Heritage one. I picked it up in a trade or purchase or something. I'll be swapping that out and putting this one in, though. So, yeah. So, fun stuff there. Uh, LJ Jones was uh, there as well. Got him on three cards. Signed those in silver. Came out pretty nice. I like how the metallic ones look on the uh, any kind of chrome ones like this, especially the uh, any kind of prisms like that. So, there you go. Got, uh, yeah, three out of LJ Jones. From him. I uh, did a couple customs as well. Got Andre Granillo on one of him. And here's one of Mike Antico as well. Antico was uh, had a pullover on, so we had to really kind of scramble a little bit to, uh, excuse me, to pick him out. But fortunately, I noticed, okay, he's got high socks on there. There's a dude in there who had high socks and about the same size. And once I finally looked at the uh, roster sheet, it's like uh, on their website, it's like, uh, yeah, that is definitely him. So fortunately, picked him out, got him. Knocked out all my Springfield stuff before the game even started, so that really helped things out. So, uh, meanwhile, inside, we went over to the Frisco side to finish things off. I'm going to try to remember which ones I got inside and which ones I got outside, and I think I've got it basically nailed down. So, uh, I went up toward the bullpen first, and let's see here. Let's There we go. Get these guys sorted out first. So, the first ones I got up at the bullpen, we got uh, Juan Mejia on a custom right there. Got Yudris Manon on a custom as well, or Manon, I guess, is the actual pronunciation on it. And Theo McDowell on a custom as well. I got the full backed custom done before. This is the blank back one that I had printed up just to have something as a placeholder at the start of the season. But there you go. Got those done. So inside, I uh, went down the line, got down by the fence there just to see what I could get. And so I was able to first get Jax Biggers on his card. Uh, let's see here. We got... Uh, after that, I think it was uh, Thomas Sejaci came by next, one per signer, but he at least did it, which is great because we never see him outside. Biggers and Sejaci and Evan Carter all take a different exit out. So, haven't gotten them at all this season. Finally got Sejaci and Biggers. Now, I was hoping to get Carter, but he completely ignored me inside. It seems like he signs on his way in, and then if you stand by that other exit, he'll sign out there. But you're going to get him and miss out on everybody else, so I'd rather get the other guys first. Um, got Coach uh, Kawika Emsley Pye on his Round Rock card. And got Liam Hicks on his custom there as well. So got those knocked out inside, which is great because those guys, I mean, McDowell I could spot outside with no problem. But the rest of those guys, I haven't really seen them that much. So being able to get them inside, they at least were still in their jerseys. And it's like, okay, you can, you know, okay, 13 is Liam Hicks. Let's get him. So went outside after that. A Jack Leiter was the first one out. He was supposed to start last night, but they moved him to the development list. Tried to uh, do some uh, workload management with him. So, uh. Scratch from the start, but he was still there and signed my custom right there. I'm trying to remember who it was that came out next. I think the next one that we got was uh, Luis Angel Acuna, and uh, he wasn't going to sign for us. I mean, there's only three of us there, and he tried to skip past us. And fortunately, Chris uh, stopped him, speaking a little bit of Spanish to him, and uh, he stopped and signed one per for each of us. His LL signature, basically, there, as it turns out, but hey, got it done at least. 
Uh, let's see. I'm trying to think who was coming through after him. Now is what I'm saying. It kind of starts to uh, all jumble together a bit for me. So, yeah, I'll just go through the uh, random order of whatever they're in, whatever order they're in here. So, Michael Brewer on a custom. Got a Aiden Anderson also on a custom. I made one of Grant Anderson, too, his twin brother, but unfortunately Grant got moved up to AAA and now he's up in the majors. So, never got printed even just because that's like, well, he's probably not coming back anytime. So, uh yeah, left, those, left that one. Uh, let's see here. We got Antoine Kelly signed two out of the three cards that I had of him. Had uh, Justin Slayton, who signed the last two cards that I have of him. A few of these guys I'm probably not going to bother buying more. I mean, Antoine Kelly I have a ton of already. I've got a ton of Justin Slayton. I've got a ton of Alex Spies, who signed the last two cards that I had of him. Don't really need more. I might do customs on them just for the hell of it, for the next custom order that I do. And a Grant Wolfram on a regular and a blank back custom there as well. So, there you go. 28 cards total signed in Frisco tonight. Pretty nice outing overall. Really can't complain there. And so, let's go ahead and break into these TTMs now and see what we get here. So, both these come from Canada. This one I mailed out maybe about a month, month and a half ago at most. This is on our MH postmark from the M4L region. And I think that's going to be Ontario based on what I know about all this stuff. Because I think... This is going to be an 88 to 89 tops set hit from one of the owners of the London Knights. If you know that, you'll know this is going to be probably Mark Hunter then. And yes, indeed, we do have Mark Hunter here. Show you the 88-89 signed right there. Not the best marker, unfortunately. Uh, you'll see uh, it actually looks all right on a couple of these other ones. Like this 90-91 Pro set came out real nice on there. So, But there you go. Mark Hunter with a set hit and three others. Beans, I'm up to what, plus uh, six now on the TTM side. And it's about to be, I think, plus eight. If these both were signed in here, this one's from AJ. No postmark on it, but it's Canadian. So there you go. That, that tells me all I need to know right there. I believe this is going to be a Hockey Hall of Famer. It should be Angela James, I believe, on two cards, hopefully. Mailed these out back in February, I want to say, through the Toronto Six. And yes, indeed, Angela James signing both of the cards I sent. Added an HHOF 2010 on them as well. And so there you go. Super happy to get those ones back. I know she was a good TTMer for a while, then it seemed like there was nothing coming from her, and now got these two in. So glad I took a chance on that. Both came back looking excellent. So there you go. Another Hall of Famer rookie. I've been adding a few Hall of Famer rookies here lately, especially in hockey. I mean, I got, uh, what was it, Ray Scapanello. I think it was in my last video was when I got him. Then got... Uh, What's his name? Rod Langway just the other day. Now Angela James to go along with it. So there you go. Fun stuff. Hopefully we'll have some more coming in tomorrow. I haven't checked uh, the uh, informed delivery yet to see if I'll have any coming in tomorrow. Got to record the podcast tomorrow. And uh, yeah, hopefully we'll have a little bit to talk about after the podcast there. And then get this video wrapped up for the week and post it up. So there you go. Thanks for tuning in. Hopefully we'll have a little bit more to follow. All right, Saturday the 24th, uh, went down to the local card shop, had to pick up some supplies, and I looked through their autograph binder. I'm glad I did because I found this for five bucks. It's the Dwayne Woodruff Pro Set Legends card there. So another one of those to knock out. There's a couple more that I need in the Legends portion of it, and inching my way toward the 50% mark on those uh, 91, uh, what are they called? 91 Pro Set art cards. So good stuff there. Anyways, lots of stuff in the mailbox here too. Got a... Two TTMs, a purchase, and uh, a purchase will also be a mail aid. We'll go ahead and uh, open that one up first. Nicely marked, do not bend there. But uh, this is an eBay purchase that I'm going to need for mailing some stuff out. And the guy I bought it from uh, never got here at all. In fact, it never even really showed up on their little tracking thing and reported as missing. I'm like, yeah, I still need these stamps. So, I mean, the refund would be acceptable, but I'd rather just have the stamps. He's like, yeah, they got uh, bounced back to me as undeliverable today. So, Put them out with a uh, handwritten address on it, so hopefully it'll get to you on this try. And fortunately, they did. So, uh, may have let it slip right there that it's stamps in there, but yeah, there we go. It is stamps for South Korea. As I have a request I'll be mailing out to there, so should be able to send out two requests off of this uh, batch of stamps right here. So, there you go. We'll get those sent out, and uh, yeah, we'll see what happens there. And if I receive back what I'm sending, I will definitely let everybody know. So, Yay. Glad to get those in. Moving on, let's take a look at the uh, purchase here that I made. I think this, I think I know what this one is. I think this is going to be the other uh, Diamond King card that I was waiting on. 
from my purchase a few weeks ago, and let's see if that's exactly what this is. It is indeed, and so I have the... Okay, good, just making sure it was uh, the right thing on the back, and it is. It is the uh, 1991 Donruss Diamond King Dave Steeb card. This was one of the first cards I ever actually got in a pack that uh, I bought as somebody intending to be a card collector and everything, because I'd had some cards before that, but didn't really take it super seriously, and then... 91 Don Russ came out, and I bought a rack pack, and I had just seen Dave Steve throw his no-hitter a few months prior to buying it, so I uh, picked that up, and this card came out of that pack. It's like, oh, well, that's kind of cool, and was so, uh, not this exact one, obviously, because, I mean, I bought this one already signed, but still, I mean, I got one of those in that pack, and uh, yeah, kind of hooked me from there, so got it signed now to go with the Diamond Kings project, so another one to add on to that one. So let's get into the TTMs here. We have one from Sweden right here. Check that out. Swedish stamp. Good stuff. And this is uh, the initial honor MN. So the guy who's in the 88 89 uh, Tops hockey set. And this will be Mats Nasland in this one. Not Marcus, Mats. Marcus didn't make it to the NHL until 92 93, somewhere around there. But Mats Nasland did indeed sign everything I had. And he even matched the pen color to his jersey on here. So the two Bruins cards are signed with black because Bruins wore black. And the Canadians ones are signed in blue, because that's one of the Canadians' colors there. So, really cool stuff right there. Let's see, uh, score leaves. I think it's the box, uh, yeah, the box bottom card right there. It's uh, listed as card L in there, so yellow borders too. So, cool to get that one. And yeah, I mean, there's that uh, set card right there too. So, good stuff. Excellent job there by Matt Nasland in uh, taking a little extra time to add a little pen color flair to it. Uh, one more to check out here. This is RH, Tampa, Florida. This is going to be a baseball one. Roberto Hernandez in here. I just sent off to him again because I put I picked up a minor league card of him. It's like, yeah, go ahead and send that one off because I was like getting minor league stuff signed. And yeah, he signed that and everything else in there. I'll show you the uh, Royals one here from the uh, Upper Deck 40 Man set. But yeah, check out those two. Good stuff there. Nice blue signature on there. It shows up real well on everything. And there you go. So, good stuff coming in this week. Um, yeah, hopefully it continues on into next week. Probably going to try to do some American Association graphing on the weekend if I can. If there's anybody that I need and if I think I can get the cards here in time, which I'm not sure if I'll be able to. So, I may end up skipping this weekend. We'll see. At the very least, I know I've got Midland coming up and San Antonio coming again as well fairly soon. So, I'll get out there, try them, and yeah. See what happens with those guys out in Frisco. So thanks again for tuning in this week here. Um, make sure you're tuning in to the podcast I do with Jeff Baker, TTM Cast. You can find it at ttmcast.com or anywhere that you listen to podcasts. It's on, what, Spotify, all those kinds of places. If, you, if, you, if, if you're listening to something that's got a podcast on it, we're probably there. TTM Cast, look it up. Uh, what else? If you need addresses, sportscardforum.com, sportscollectors.net. First one is free. Second one's 15 bucks a year, but it has a whole bunch of extra stuff on it, so... Make sure to check those out if you need any addresses for anything. And, yeah, I think that pretty well covers everything here from this week. And hopefully we'll have a, uh, have a good, successful week next week along with all this.